The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. didn't get it. Where is it? I gave it to Chris. Now, Chris. Well, I gave it to Sherman. <laughs> I gave it to Jerry. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, Jerry. I left it in my lunchbox. <laughs> well, I hope this group realizes the penalty for tampering with the United States mail. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom, but I got a little of my lunch on it. <laughs> Apparently, neither Snow, nor rain, nor peanut butter can stay these couriers from their appointed rounds. <laughs> oh, it's from New York. She must be back from her honeymoon. Yeah. Oh. She says she and Huey adored the wedding present I sent them. What'd you finally send them? An authentic Victorian fatui. <laughs> It's an antique chair. I found a darling little gold opera chair over in Wilton. You know, Marge just adores antiques. Well, there's one good thing. I'll bet they didn't get two fatuis. <laughs> oh, and listen to this. Married life is simply marvelous. We're the happiest two people in the world. Isn't that nice? Yeah, but I still wish Marge and Huey hadn't run off and eloped at the last minute. Oh, what's the difference, Lucy, as long as they're happy? Well, I had such a wonderful wedding planned for them. Remember, Chris was going to be bridesmaid and Jerry was going to be ring bearer. Oh, I'm sorry they eloped, too. My dress was dreamy. I'm glad they eloped so I didn't have to carry that old pillow and wear that sissy suit. <laughs> What are you complaining about, Jerry? I rehearsed three whole weeks for nothing. I was going to play and sing, Oh, Promise Me. Maybe that's why they eloped. <laughs> uh, never you mind, young man. Mother, uh, may we be excused? Yeah, but right upstairs and do your homework. All right. Both you do up. your homework, too, now, Sherm, huh? Okay. You know, maybe I ought to keep in practice. Just keep on practicing, Oh, Promise Me. Why? I might pick up odd jobs with the Justice of the Peace. Oh, oh that's him. <laughs> oh, promise me that someday you and I <laughs> will meet together in that distant sky. What's the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about you and weddings. Can I help it if I'm the sentimental, mushy type? Lucy. Am I going to have to hide the society section of the paper again this June so you won't be going around all puffy-eyed? <laughs> no. But I just wish that Marge and Huey had let me give them that formal wedding. Don't you think it's about time you forgot that? Yeah, I guess so. After all, the important thing is that they're happy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll get it. Marge! Honey, we just got your letter. We were just talking about you. Marge! Oh, it's so good to see you. We just read your letter. Honey, oh. we're so delighted to hear that you're so happy. Ah! <laughs> Marge, honey, what's the matter? I'm so unhappy. Oh, Marge, what happened, honey? What happened? Huey and I had our first fight. Oh, <laughs> dear, you poor baby. Huey's a beast. Well, then why did you marry him? <laughs> because he's such a cute bee. <laughs> Marge, honey, I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. What? This never would have happened if your marriage had gotten off on the right foot. What do you mean? You should not have eloped. You should have let me give you a formal wedding. Oh, come now, Lucy. Ralph and I had a big formal garden wedding, and we had a fight before we got past the petunia bed. <laughs> Huey's idea to elope. 
You know, he's kind of shy, and the idea of a big wedding sort of scared him. Well, I don't care. I think we should have a formal ceremony if we ever see Huey again. Ah! <laughs> when you see Huey again. Please, if you don't mind, I don't want to talk about Huey or wedding. All right, honey, I understand. Why don't you go upstairs and lie down, relax a little bit. I'll get your bag. You take my room, honey. Then after you get rested up a bit, dear, come on down and watch television with us. There's a good movie on. Yeah, that's a good idea. What movie's on? Father of the Bride. Oh. <laughs> You're a big help. I just remember there's a big framed picture of Marge and Huey on my dresser. I'll try to sneak it off before she sees it. <laughs> she saw it. terrible about that little spat. I never fight with anybody. Uh, I don't know what came over me. If you'd only forgive me, I, I'd promise I... Marge is here, isn't she? Yes, she's here. Oh, thank goodness. Who's <laughs> ringing the bell this time tonight? Oh, Huey! Huey! Oh, Huey! Marge! Oh, oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> it was all my fault, sweetie pie. Oh, no, it was my fault, honey pie. Can you forgive me, cream puff? Um, you sugar love. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? <laughs> sweet is almost fattening. <laughs> oh, well, come on, honey. Get dressed and get your things. We're going home. Oh, no. There's no point in you going all the way back to New York tonight. Stay here until tomorrow. Well, we might as well. Tomorrow's Saturday and you don't have to go to work. Yeah, that's right. Tomorrow is Saturday. I have the most wonderful idea. Why don't we have a wedding for you two? <laughs> a wedding? We're already married. No, I, I mean the wedding that we planned for Marge with her family and loved ones around. A real wedding with all the trimmings. Oh, what do you think, Huey? Oh, honey, you know how I feel. I hate a big fuss and a lot of confusion and people around. I think a wedding is kind of private. Well, if you'll pardon my saying so, Huey, if your marriage had had the right beginning, you wouldn't be having the trouble you're having right now. <laughs> I say, if you'd had the right beginning, you wouldn't be having this trouble right now. <laughs> oh, Lucy, that had nothing to do with it. We fought over the most ridiculous thing. What? What? Bill. <laughs> well, it all began with one of our presents. Someone sent us the most impractical gift in the whole world. Huey! Oh, honey, they're family. What's the harm in telling them we got a stupid little gold chair that I'm not even allowed to sit on? <laughs> it's got the silliest name. It's called a... a spadoodle? Or a... a faluki? It's a fatui. Yeah, that's it, a fatui! <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Huey, you apologize to my sister. Lucy, I'm sorry. I, I apologize from the bottom of my heart. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> oh, really, sis? I love that fotui. And you do too, don't you, Huey? Oh, I do -y. <laughs> I mean, I do. You really mean it? Oh, I do. Lucy, can you forgive me? Well, I'll forgive you on one condition. Anything, anything you say. That you let me give you that wedding. Oh, no. Oh, come on, Huey. It wouldn't be so bad. Now, it's nothing to worry about. It's just a little simple home wedding without a lot of fuss, and we'll only invite the family. Now, now, you two go on upstairs and get some sleep so you'll be bright and fresh for your wedding. Okay. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, aren't they cute? Yeah. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Back to bed. Where else? Viv, we have a lot of work to do. We're getting a wedding this afternoon. Lucy, it's four in the morning. Exactly. We're lucky we're already up. <laughs> now we're going to have to use every minute we've got to pull things together before all the guests arrive. Bup, 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 bup. Wait a minute. What do you mean, all the guests? I thought you told Huey you were just going to invite family. That's all I'm going to invite. But if you stop to think about it, we have a huge family. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now I've got to ask my brother Fred and his wife Zoe and their children. And then I'm going to have to ask Uncle Cecil and Aunt Cleo and Paul and Jack Carter. Now, wait a minute. The Carters aren't family. Well, they're practically family. <laughs> Lucy, how many people do you plan to invite? Well, by paring the list down and stepping on a few toes, I might be able to get it down to 35 or 40. <laughs> Lucy, you told Huey that now, you were Bev, just... we don't have time to quibble. We're going to have to make cakes. We're going to have to make the punch, order the flowers, rent that pump organ again, call all the people, and wash our hair and clean the whole house. <laughs> now, wait a minute. You told Huey we weren't going to make a big fuss. How can you not make a big fuss with all those people coming? <laughs> into a long line of sweet tooth. <laughs> Lucy, where's the ladle for the punch bowl? Where it's is it? Drawer. It's in that drawer. Which drawer? That drawer there, where it's always been. Okay. Where, where's the polishing cloth? The polishing in, cloth. In one of those drawers, I don't Which know. Which one? I think it's in the same one where the ladle was. Oh, it was in this drawer. Why didn't you say All right, so I didn't know. I didn't know. I don't know. I was just guessing at it. What are you taking, Huey? Tranquilizer to calm me down. Oh, Huey, you don't have anything to worry about. Harry Connors, our next door neighbor, is going to be your best man, and he takes care of all the little details. Oh, oh I forgot a little detail. What? I forgot to invite Harry. Not <laughs> <laughs> to invite Harry. Yeah, I'll go over and ask him now. I want to borrow his candlesticks. Anyway. Candles! I've got to go back to town and buy the candles. You forgot <laughs> to buy candles? Oh, you forgot How to buy How can you have a wedding for heaven's sake, sake without for candles? For heaven's sake, I tried to invite I, I was going to buy the <laughs> Uh, hold it. Wait, wait, the two of you. Hold it. Will you calm down? I, I think you both better have one of these tranquilizers. I've never had one of those. I don't Man, want... I haven't either. What do they do to you? Well, just relax you a little. Relax you. Take one. Let's go. <laughs> I'll open the door. I have you. I'll open the door. Hi. Hi. Good grief. Look at all the chairs. Who did she invite? The entire cast of Ben-Hur? <laughs> We've got to get ready. Okay. Uh, honey, uh, you go ahead. I I'll be up in a minute. I, uh, I forgot something in the kitchen. Oh, okay. So we're just doing fine. Fine. All we have to do is decorate the cake and get dressed. We're all ready. That's right. Did you ever see Marge's wedding ring? What are you doing with it? I have to give it to Jerry to put on that little pillow. Oh, isn't that pretty? To Marge from Huey, may our love... Sam! Oh, now, really. You shouldn't be reading a thing like that. That's private. Now look what you've done. Well, you knocked it out of my hand. And I can't even see the bottom. You've got so much fruit in there. Well, now, don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. I'll just scoop around with this ladle. We'll find it. 
Here, hold, give me a cup, give me a cup. <laughs> Any luck? No, it's not in here. <laughs> oh, don't pour that in the sink. I spent all morning making that. <laughs> well, I can't put it back in the bowl. I have my fingers in it. Well, drink it. <laughs> okay, I'm first in <laughs> Oh, boy, that hit the spot. <laughs> Anything? Uh-oh. Did you find it? Wait a minute. No, but we're getting warmer. <laughs> you think between the two of us we could find it? <laughs> That's the best punch I ever made. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> Lucy. What? I'm feeling a little funny. <laughs> what do you mean? How do you feel funny? Well, kind of uh, lightheaded, you know. Mm -hmm. I'll bet it's that tranquilizer. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you know, Viv, this punch is a lot better than the punch you made last time. <laughs> I think you must be using better fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lucy. Does have a kind of a tang this time, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, Lucy, you forgot to look for the ring. <laughs> Thing. Huey said these pills would relax me, and boy, am I relaxed. <laughs> me too, they're marvelous. We'll have to get some of those pills from our pharmacist. <laughs> <laughs> What's that thing doing in there? <laughs> Somebody's wedding ring. <laughs> well, who could have been so careless? <laughs> Why am I relaxed? <laughs> Lucille, we have to decorate this wedding cake, you know. Why? For the, uh, all the family and the guests and, and the wedding. <laughs> Marge and Huey got married. I guess it's better the second time around. <laughs> so choose your weapons. <laughs> well, now, what do you want to make? Roses or doves? <laughs> I think I'll make the doves. No, I think I better make the doves, because as I recall, the last time you made doves, they weren't very pretty, honey. In fact, they were more like ugly doublings. <laughs> <laughs> You're a riot, girl. Ugly dugglings. <laughs> <laughs> How How's this thing work? <laughs> You just plunge that plunger in the back and dump. <laughs> it works. Now then, I'm gonna put the prettiest dove you've ever seen up here. You do that, honey. <laughs> ah, there <laughs> Now, that's the way a dove should look. <laughs> that's a dove? looks more like a buzzard. <laughs> so it's a large dove. 
Yeah. Oh, boy, making doves let get you awful thirsty, doesn't it? <laughs> What? You want me to write their names? Whose name? Uh, 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 the girls, uh, uh, Mar uh, Marge, Marge and Huey. Oh, yeah, would you, honey? You have such a lovely handwriting. <laughs> you gonna let me write your sister's name? Yeah. I thought you would want to write that all by yourself. No. You know that you're very good to me? Uh, very good. <laughs> There isn't room to write all those names. Well, then we'll make room. Uh, <laughs> oh, right there's Marge. Oh, honey, you spell Marge with three G's. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, you know there's only two. <laughs> Me. Well, now, cross one out. You haven't done any harm. Oh. Let's cross it out. And Marge and Hugh, Huey. And I'll dot the R. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's dotted. Oh, that's beautiful, Isn't honey. that pretty? Yes. <laughs> no. That's all right, I'll get my own. I mean, you're going to have to finish the borders, and I'm going to take care of all the little people. All right. Oh, I am making a border like you never saw in your life. I can't help it. When I look at these little people going through life's bumpy highway together, I tell you, I worry about them. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. Don't cry, Nick. Are you finished? I'm I wanna, finished. I'm finished. I want to finish the job. <laughs> but you mind getting me a little drink there? take another tranquilizer. <laughs> Me either. First time I ever got a headache from relaxing. <laughs> it's five o'clock. Shall I start the wedding march? Yeah, but use a soft pedal, will you? <laughs> <laughs> announcement to make. 
I'm sorry, but the bride and groom have eloped again. <laughs> Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. didn't get it. Where is it? I gave it to Chris. Now, Chris. I gave it to Sherman. I gave it to Jerry. Uh-oh. Well, Jerry. I left it in my lunchbox. Well, I hope this group realizes the penalty for tampering with the United States mail. Oh, mother. I'm sorry, Mom, but I got a little of my lunch on it. Apparently, neither no, nor rain, nor peanut butter can stay these couriers from their appointed rounds. <laughs> oh, it's from New York. She must be back from her honeymoon. Yeah. Oh. She says she and Huey adored the wedding present I sent them. What'd you finally send them? An authentic Victorian fatui. <laughs> It's a fatui. It's an antique chair. I found a darling little gold opera chair over in Wilton. You know, Marge just adores antiques. Well, there's one good thing. I'll bet they didn't get two fatuis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and listen to this. Married life is simply marvelous. We're the happiest two people in the world. Isn't that nice? Yeah, but I still wish Marge and Huey hadn't run off and eloped at the last minute. Oh, what's the difference, Lucy, as long as they're happy? Well, I had such a wonderful wedding planned for them. Remember, Chris was going to be bridesmaid and Jerry was going to be ring bearer. Oh, I'm sorry they eloped, too. My dress was dreamy. I'm glad they eloped so I didn't have to 